Hi guys, this is your sister Carrie Ann in Jesus Christ. Okay, before going further, brothers and sisters, I'm gonna eventually change up the way how I greet you. All right. So just in case, if you are um, when I start to change up, uh, don't think anything about it. Just join in all right because i want to greet you brothers and sisters in a very different way amen um and it's laid on my heart so maybe for the next videos this is the way forward all right okay brothers and sisters so please remember if you subscribe click all and also you you love to put um mute me when you go on my video for when it pops up on your um feed the mute me for heaven knows how long but keep persevering all right, brothers and sisters. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna try my best. Oh Lord, help me, God. I'm gonna try my best not to laugh through this video. This is a serious video, all right. But I will try my uttermost best not to laugh. All right. So, to be honest with you, brothers and sisters, I'm coming back because something is brewing in the realm of the spirit concerning Nicki Minaj. All right, something is brewing in the realm of the spirit concerning um, Nikki. So we will see what transpire. There's, there's going to be two ways it's going to go. It's either going to be, number one, the wicked, um, whatever she's drawing, you know, whatever Illuminati and all of that. They're either going to silence her, don't know whatever way that is, all right? Or two, she is going to revoke or renounce the occultic messianic wicked company that she's in and turn her life over to the biblical jesus christ of nazareth because you cannot revoke or come out of the illuminati without going to christ because if you do that they're gonna yeah you, you don't have a life you need that protection from the holy spirit and all of that so Something in the realm of the spirit is happening to her. So like I gave those two options. Number one, they're going to either silence her. Or number two, she's going to come out full force, full swing, swinging, saying that she's a born again Christian and all of that. So we'll watch and see. But something in the realm of the spirit, she's up there in the realm of the spirit, brothers and sisters. There's a tug of war going on. But anyways, um, now the reason why I'm doing this video, because... I didn't, when I read, when I did that first video about Nikki coming out full force, full swing, rebuking the you know what, I didn't really fully, fully, fully read the, the, the little tweet that she tweeted out, but I got a hold of it this morning. <laughs> I got a hold of it this morning, brothers and sisters, and um, yeah, I had a good read. I had a proper good read. I really focus, all right? I really focus on this tweet. Now, this tweet, as you know, that she's tweeted, she's basically, I'm going to try to speak in quotes because I don't want to say certain words and you, you, but basically she's, you know what she's saying, that her cousin's friend, balls, of stolen. <laughs> yeah, he's got stolen balls and his willy is dead. Okay, so... That statement has, ca has caught the eyes, not only of her followers and those who follow her, but of, we call them dignitaries, of the pharaohs of this world, the Ramesses of this world. That tweet alone has caught their attention. Why is that? It's only a tweet, isn't it? Everybody's entitled to their opinion or whatever. But that tweet that Nikki has sent out, as ruffled when i say ruffled i'm not i'm not talking just this is me feather i'm not just talking little like that i'm talking proper ruffle like yeah that is what her tweet has done to the modern day pharaohs of this world so now the modern days the modern day pharaohs are getting involved in her tweet and is how I can put it is basically Nikki is coming out. Is basically Nikki is saying, "I'm going to give an analogy so that you understand 
what's going on here because this is very very deep it's not about just a little tweet this is very very deep this is more than a tweet so basically nikki is saying look peanut allergies exist that's i'm just using an analogy an, an analogy she's basically saying look peanut allergies exist and there are side effects if you take this you know you're gonna have problems now the pharaohs of the world are hitting back at that at that and say no 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 peanut allergies do not exist it's a myth you should be ashamed of yourself nikki for coming out and saying peanut allergies exist that is what it looks like because for the most part millions of people all over the world suffers from peanut this is just an analogy all right suffers from peanut allergies so for the pharaohs to come and say it's a myth peanut allergies it doesn't exist those of us who know the truth and know that peanut allergies exist we're going to want to believe what you know nikki is saying so she's coming out and she's saying, look, swollen, swoll, swollen balls and dead willy has happened from you, do you know what? And so the pharaohs of the world are coming up because apparently now Joe Biden administration, the White House, they're offering to call her, <laughs> to call her and to probably educate educate her on stuff in the uk the pharaohs are involved prime minister is involved shutting her down health minister shutting her down few talk show hosts shutting her down um trinidad and tobago i think that's where she's from their health minister over there calling it a shame shutting her down so my thing is this if they're so upset and worried about Nikki's tweet about so, so swollen balls and dead willy, all right, instead of having a go at trying to shut her down because they're just, they're just fueling the fire, the fuel in the fire. The more they shut her down, the more she gets more exposure <laughs> and to the, you know, more she gets more exposure all over the world. All right. Um, so why don't these people these journalists these so-called journalists either reach out to nikki and say to her all right nikki you've made this statement about soul and balls and dead willy all right why don't you give us the number of your cousins for now give us the or set up some just we want to get in contact with your cousin's friend we want to know the truth for ourselves and do a worldwide interview because this thing has gone viral. You know, the soul in Willie and dead soul in Willie. <laughs> this is the soul in balls and dead Willie. <laughs> I'm sorry, brother, I'm so sorry. After talking codes, because if not, you is going to pick up if I use the same word as Nikki. They're going to know. All right? So, <laughs> um, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry so <laughs> the um <laughs> sorry the soul in will the soul in balls all right the big balls and the dead willy all right and um, what they should do brothers and sisters is give that person an interview give that person an interview and let them have their say so why don't they do that? They're normally hot down for people. Anything that breaks in in the news, somebody, you know, the biggest TikToker or the biggest whatever, they always hunt people down. Anything breaking, they always hunt people down, give people interview. So why don't the, 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 the people, the press in Trinidad, try to hunt this guy down and have an interview with him? That is my thing. Why don't they do that? So rather than coming at Nicki Minaj, you know trying to shut her up <laughs> for saying that her this 
for talking about soul and willies, soul and balls and, and dead willies, reach out to that cousin's friend. Let us see what's going on. And, um, you know, we'll see if they do reach out to this cousin. You know, you can always say, oh, she's lying. You can always say, oh, Nicki Minaj is lying. She's doing misinformation. She should be ashamed of herself. Well, for you to know that she's lying, you need to say, all right, let's reach out to this cousin's friend. Mm. <clears throat> reach out to the cousin's friend and then you will get your answers. But this thing has gone viral and it's, it's, it's more than the tweet. And I start the video by saying that she's very active in the realm of this. Nicki Minaj is very active up there <laughs> in the spirit realm. There's a tug of war going on. And the decision, two things are going to happen to her. Number one, they're either going to silence her, the wicked, the elite. Or number two, she's going to do some serious denouncing. Some proper, 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 serious denouncing. And with that denouncing coming, it's going to cost her a lot. But um, it's, it's a choice of accepting the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So we will see. But she's not safe. Mm -mm. She, yeah. Not safe at all. I told you in recent videos that they're looking for a sacrifice for Aaliyah. I said it. It's a female. We don't know who it is yet, but they're looking for one. So we'll we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens to Nikki's stolen balls and dead Willie comment. Because it, it's gone viral. And for like I say, for the pharaohs, brothers and sisters, it's a tweet. And for the pharaohs of the world to get involved into this tweet, it is it is speaking volume. You have to open your eyes. Why are they getting involved? Why are the pharaohs of the world getting involved? Yes, okay, she's a celebrity. She's got millions and whatever followers. But why, why your feathers are so ruffled? Why are you so upset about this tweet? Why? Open your eyes, brothers and sisters. Nothing is done in coincidence. Nothing is done by mistake. That tweet from Nicki Minaj had to go out. It must go out. It wasn't a slip of the mouth. It wasn't a mistake. If she wants to come back and try to wipe it out and wipe it away, that's up to her. That's her thing. She can do what she wants. But that tweet has gone out already. And everybody, well, those who follow Nikki and those who follow the government knows about this tweet. And it's a big thing. And it's more than the tweet. Like I say, in the realm of the spirit, there's two things that's going on with her. And like I said, she's not safe. You know? Um, I know people are going to come in the comment section and say, this is a career and you should pray for her. Hmm. <laughs> Pray for Nicki Minaj. Because a lot of them come in the comment section. And then, you know, everybody's entitled to their own thing. You know, pray for... I think that if you feel led to pray for Nicki Minaj, then do it. Sorry. If you feel led... Oh, Lord, what's that in my forehead? Oh, God. If you feel led to pray for Nicki, then you pray for her. But from where I'm standing... And I have to be honest with you, from where I'm standing, at this moment in time, at this moment in time, I do not feel led to pray. Uh, and I said, in time, maybe it will change. Maybe the Lord will give me the unction in my spirit to reach out. But the Lord, if the Lord gives you that, um, <clears throat> that inclination, that passion to pray for her, then you go ahead and you, you do your thing. You do your thing. You have to obey the voice of the Most High. Yeah. But brothers and sisters, I am telling you, I am telling you something is kicking off. It's more than a tweet. This is, this is more than a tweet. And I don't find it surprising. I really don't find it surprising that the pharaohs of the world, White House, 
for a tweet. Why, why are you calling people for... Look, look How many of us, how many people, Facebook, YouTube, put out tweets against the you-know-what? We don't get no call from the White House. And the tweets are more in-depth. Or the, the, <clears throat> the posts or the videos are more in-depth than Nikki. But because she's in the public eye, isn't it? And she's got many, many young people following her. And especially men, lots of men that follow her. And for young men to see a tweet with stolen balls and dead willy, you know, it's going to jerk something inside of them. Because they want to keep their manhood. So... This thing is very, I know I was giggling and laughing because, you know, stolen, will, stolen balls and dead willy. It's quite funny, ain't it, really? <laughs> it's, a, it's, a little bit, it's a little bit comical. I mean, I said it. She didn't say it. that in some, those words, but I had to change up the words. But you know what I mean. You get the drift. You know what I mean, brothers and sisters. So, yeah, <laughs> it's all kicking off, brothers and sisters. So be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with Yah, just like Enoch, all praises, all beautiful praises to the Most High, Yah, who lives above the heavens. Yah, eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory. In Jesus Christ, precious holy name, amen and amen. Let us say the benediction is Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, now, oh, is that the time? Wow. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.